This is the Turdegord, which was formed over 150 million years ago. It's two kilometers long and a varying altitude of zero to 350 meters in height. So it's a bit of a trek, but we're out to enjoy it. And also on the travels up here, you can come across up to 60 caves. And the caves in the Turda Gorge are where the citizens of Turda have found their homes over the past centuries. So there is some real amazing history up here. And you can just walk up here and enjoy it. No fee for the car park, nothing. It's fresh air and a walk. Let's go travels, cheapskate tits. We've had a lovely time on this campsite. It's been really, really nice. Uh, the ability to do our washing um, has been really good because normally we would pay for a laundrette or a laundromat and have the cost of that, which I think last time for me was about 16 euros. Uh, it's all included here. So I think in this situation, the campsite wins out. The only thing I think you have to be aware of, we are in Romania, so Perhaps if you're used to the uh, motorhome and caravan club sites, this isn't going to match up. It's uh, very basic, um, but what it lacks in um, glamour, it certainly makes up for in friendliness and the hosts are lovely. Oh, hello. Hello. Where have you been? Doing dishes. All right. Where are you going? A private. Okay. Bye. So uh, yeah, it's been a great time. Um, I would highly recommend this site, uh, like I said, it's, uh, it's actually quite big as you can see and there's several toilet box as Paul mentioned, um, but yeah, th this is pretty much what you can expect from a Romanian campsite, they're uh, basic and functional, uh, not always um, what would the word be? Up to British standard. But if you are just looking for something authentically Romanian, uh, yeah, come here, it's brilliant. And of course, just up the road, you've got the uh, salt mines, uh, which we won't be visiting because we did the salt mines in Poland. Um, this one's got a theme park inside and you can't take dogs. So uh, to be honest, it's not really our sort of thing. And we're gonna stay in Romania. Still going to Greece, don't worry. Challenge is not off. We are going to Greece. We are absolutely in love with Romania. It's brilliant, really, really good. It has its little issues. Um, dogs don't live inside here as a rule and they live outside in kennels. Um, you tend to have barking dogs all night. So if that's gonna bother you, you're probably not gonna love Romania so much. Last night, about 3 a.m., um, there's a dog just behind me, just behind that fence there. And they all started barking. Of course, one set another off, set another off, set another off. And I think within a radius of a mile, there must have been about 16 dogs barking. Uh, ours were doing their indoor barks. The woof, woof. Upsides and downsides to Romania. Downsides are massively outweighed by the upsides. It's beautiful. The people are very, very friendly. Prices are really good. And it's relatively unspoiled, although you can see there is um, money creeping in. It is very, very poor, but there are little pockets of, uh, I would say, up and coming. Time to get the Romanian flag on. Didn't have to Google this one because the Romanian flag is everywhere. So let's just get this in place. It's a bit of a hodgepodge of flags. I got a running tab, it's done run away. Sometimes I think I'm whistling past the graveyard. Last night I got so drunk, I didn't even know my name. But the beer is cold and the music's always playing. So we just filled up with diesel, empty tank, we put in, or nearly empty, wasn't it? We put in 70 litres. It came to 486 lei, but here they're doing the diesel at £1.24 a litre. Best price.
price we've had yet. Awesome. Bargain. So we're in Albert Lulia. I think that's how you say it. Um, it's a medieval citadel where the city is in the shape of a star which is very interesting it looks really pretty we've parked here i was guided in um we parked somewhere else and a romanian man came over and through very broken english um and my zero romanian uh, we managed to work out that he was sending me here which was a much better parking space uh, two hours and it's 74 pence so uh that's pretty good yeah, Romania wins again. So we've come into the medieval city and oh my God, what a place. The gates behind us, statues everywhere. It's, it's spectacular, isn't it? Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, this is the uh, citadel. Yeah, so it's in the shape of a star. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to get the drone up later and show you the star. See the gates. But we're gonna go in now and um, see if we can get some lunch. That was eight lay. Eight lay. Pound. No. Pound in a bit. Five fifty lay is pound. Yeah. So, you know, very reasonable prices. Yeah, not bad. And we banana Especially crate. not bad from a street seller, because I reckon at home one of these would set your bag back to about fifty. Yeah. Right, it's time to go back to the van and look for somewhere to park for tonight. Back to the van and maybe top up the LPG as well. Oh yeah, we'll find some of that. Well we're on half capacity, which is pretty good. Yeah, you'll find some. But park ups, not difficult to find in Romania at all. Yeah, and when it's what, 37p an hour? For parking? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, it's really good. And they're really huge bays as well, aren't they? Yeah, massive, you massive. Get, you get a motorhome, coaches and everything in there. So mm. we went somewhere first off, a small car park in town and a guy came across and said to Corin, no, no, go park up around the corner in, in his best broken English. Yeah, it was, um, well, I told you, it was a bit of a fractured conversation, <laughs> but between uh, Google Translate did not do the trick on this occasion. No, it's not um, working so well, is it? it gave, he, I got him to speak into it, and my face as the uh, translation was coming up, because it was something to do with Jenny and some fingers, and <laughs> yeah, it, and he's going, you understand? And I'm looking at it thinking, oh, good God, no, I hope not. And uh, yeah. I was going to him, yeah, yeah. I understand. So, that <laughs> way. I wouldn't pay for this. <laughs> what sort of maniac would pay for this? Oh, yeah, don't flip off. <laughs> oh my god! So we've come for a walk along the street, and as you can hear, we have set off every dog in the street yeah. so far. They're not so happy to see us, are they? No, every house has a dog, <laughs> um, and every dog. Well, you can mark where we've been, so uh, <laughs> we've set off about nine back there. Point little village, this is your yeah. standard average Romanian village. So, uh... Hello. Another one. There he is. Hello, little lunatic. Right, Scrappy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
yabba, yabba, yabba. Yeah, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I think we'll go back and just chill out for the rest of the afternoon. And, <laughs> hello. Hello. Yep. Oh, the dogs. <laughs> <laughs> our two aren't really that bothered to be honest because uh, when we first came out here I think all the barking dogs was a bit upsetting to them uh, they've tuned it out now they don't seem no. remotely bothered but uh, what happens is it seems to be at about three in the morning in a village the whole village sets each other off one will start then it'll go down the street then it'll come back up the street again uh, but you learn to tune it out it is getting warm, isn't it? Yeah, it's warm up. Yeah. It's a nice one. If I could live here. I keep saying that. <laughs> keep saying it. I could live here. Yeah. Can you stand in the middle of the road, mate? <laughs> oh, dear me. That was a pissed off dra dash hand. Put him behind the gate if you jump. See? None of them are very, they don't really they're not either. confident. When they're out of their gate, they're the, actually the quite pipers, timid. The yeah, they're actually quite timid when they're out of the gate. Yeah, but, uh, and I'll have you oh yeah, you. they're like our old Jack Russell. Yeah, if he was on a lead or he was behind his fence, oh my God, everything was having it. Yeah. Let him out and he's the softest thing ever. I think I'll be changing into a t-shirt when we get back. This is just too hot now. Hoarding it. Yep. Yeah. Because we're allowed to. Get some lunch, sit and have a chill. The size of the garden. I know, they're massive, aren't they? I told you, you could get a stag down there and a motorhome. Yeah, it's been a great couple of nights here. Uh, free, free electricity, free water, free services. Just outside the really beautiful city of Alba Eulia. Um, They've got these covered cabana type things, so you can come out here, sit by the river, have something to eat in the shade. Uh, absolutely fantastic. That's the air over there. Um, yeah, couldn't be, couldn't have been happier here, and beautiful views of the mountains. So highly recommend this air. I got a running tab, it's done run away Sometimes I think I'm whistling past the graveyard Last night I got so drunk, I didn't even know my name But the beer is cold and the music's always playing And the jukebox is the best there